All right, Jack, thanks for taking some time to join us today. I'd like to start talking a little bit about on the field stuff before we talk about off field. And uh, the Wizards off to a real good start this season. It's been a little bit rocky as of late, but everybody seems to think that you've been playing really well. How would you evaluate your own, your own performance here early this season? Yeah, I think uh, myself as, uh, as well as the whole team, we, we started off obviously um, very good at home in the first two games. Um, went on the road, thought we still played pretty well. Um, didn't maybe get the results that we wanted. Um, but for the most part, uh, as a team, every roll of the ball, we're playing hard, making it tough on other teams, and creating chances, I think. Um, one of my things, personally, I need to do a bit better is, is finishing off the chances, and I think that goes for the whole team. Uh, we've created these chances, but now we've got we've to finish them and uh, get those early leads that maybe we've given up to other teams uh, in the past few games. I think people look at the Wizards now and they say, Matt Beasler, Kansas City guy, but before Matt Beasler, you were the local guy yeah. being from Springfield and playing your college soccer at SLU. Uh, and I know you get asked about this a lot, but it must be nice for you to, to be that guy, to be able to have your family come up and watch you play and stuff like that. No, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, obviously kind of a dream come true in terms of being drafted here in, in 2003. Um, I've been lucky to stay within the organization uh, for my eighth season now. So it's great. Uh, week in, week out, my parents can come up, uh, the in-laws as well, and, uh, and catch the game. So my parents really enjoy it. And uh, it's something that you know a lot of guys in their professional careers don't get a chance to, to have uh, their families and friends around. So I feel very blessed to, to have that. And uh, at the same time with the little one now, uh, the grandparents probably come and enjoy, uh, enjoy her company more than, more than the games. <laughs> you mentioned the, uh, coming here in 2003. How much has this organization changed or improved since you first joined it? Yeah, it's, it's tremendous um, what the new on goal organization has really done. Um, you know the the, tra the training facility we're you know we're sitting in front of right now. Um, that in itself, now the new stadium, um, bringing Manchester United here. Those are all things uh, back then that were unheard of, and we we would have never even thought uh, was possible. So uh, it's a credit to them um, and what they've thought they could bring to Kansas City uh, in the sport of soccer and the community here has really embraced it and uh, hopefully continue well when the, when the stadium opens. You talked about Manchester United. They're coming in July 25th. What does that mean to you guys? Is it just one of the coolest things around? Yeah, it's exciting. Um, like I said a few years ago, we, we never had these games in the summer. Um, and, it, and it's exciting to play a team of that caliber to, to see what uh, they're all about and uh, you know, to get on the same field with them. So I think it's, it's good from a player aspect and it's, it's, it's great from, a fan, uh, from the fans' perspective as well. Um, you know, they get to see us on the same field uh, with these Man U guys and hopefully um, that'll continue the support um, once the new stadium opens and then years after that. I feel like there's a real good camaraderie in the locker room this year and I know one of your best friends on the team is Davey Arnaud. We have a new segment on the Wizards website, KCWizards.com, debuting this weekend. Mm -hmm. The Davey and Jack Challenge where you guys take each other on in various sporting events and this weekend we're talking about the go-karts. Now, yeah. we will be honest, some of this was pre-filmed, but can you give us a taste of what we're going to see here with the, the go-kart competition? Yeah, it's um, basically we were down in Arizona and there was a little uh, putt-putt, driving range, the go-karts, like you said, all different events that we kind of competed in. Uh, Dave and I are uh, good buddies from when I got drafted. We've, we've been around, so uh, we, we're very competitive people and it kind of it's a it's kind of a fun segment on on all the different uh, games and you know the go kart. So uh, I was a little disappointed. I really thought I'd probably sweep all the events. Um, and I, I to be honest, I just got a really bad go kart. So I'll I'll kind of lead lead with that. But, little excuse yeah, there. I, well, it's not really an excuse. It's just uh, I had no gas. So I couldn't get around them. <laughs> Talk to us about what you like to do off the field, and uh, I guess we'll start talking about your family. You have a little daughter, and yeah. it's a life-changing thing, but it's also a great thing. Yeah, absolutely. She uh, she just turned one, so um, it's, it's it's pretty it's pretty neat. Every day you go home, she's kind of learning new things and stuff like that. So uh, it's unbelievable um, the the change it has in your life, and it, it's been a great thing for my wife and I. And uh, it's, it's a great time every time I get home and she's got the big smile on her face. But um, if I'm not hanging around the family, uh, a few of the guys enjoy uh, going out on the golf course and, uh, and spraying it around, especially myself. I'm all over the place. Well, cool. Well, thanks for your time, Jack. No problem. Thank you.